Hello everyone! One of the reasons I love programming is an ability to automate things, from simple day-to-day -day tasks to automating business processes for our clients as I'm working as a senior software engineer in a company. In today's video we will automate some tasks on your PC with JavaScript. We will be using Node.js, an open source cross-platform Node.js desktop automation library which enables you to control your mouse, your keyboard, read information on the screen and it even has an on-screen image search. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you on board. And now let's get started. First step, initialize the npm project by typing npm in it and install the node.js library with npm install at not 3 nodejs command. Now we are ready to get things moving. Let's start with some basic example how to move the mouse. Create mouse example.js file, import mouse, left, up, right and down from node.js. Create an immediately invoked async function so that our code would start as we will run this script. Now to move a mouse all we have to do is call mouse.move. It accepts an array of points. Up, down, left and right are helper functions that accepts the number of pixels and returns array of points. So to move a mouse down by 200 pixels, we say mouse.move down 200. And since mouse.move is an async operation, we need to avoid it. Similarly with left, right and up. Let's test it by executing the script and voila, the mouse is executing our orders. Of course, mouse API has more to offer, like get position to get the current position of the mouse, left, right and double click actions, scrolling behavior and dragging. But more on that a bit later. Ok, we briefly covered the mouse, next up is of course a keyboard. Create keyboard example.js file, import keyboard and key enum from node.js. Keyboard API is a bit simpler, it basically has three methods. It can press and hold a key or keys, it can release it and surprise surprise it can type something. So let's say we want to open paint program. Since I'm on windows I need to press the window key type paint and press enter. Let's do exactly that. Keyboard.press key and give it key.left super as an argument. Key by the way is a num with most keyboard keys defined in it. We pressed the windows key then we need to release it. Then we want to type paint and finally press enter. Let's test this one out. Alright, it's working. Since we already opened the paint program, why don't we do some actual painting? Create paint.js file, copy and paste the code we just wrote for keyboard example. Before we start painting, we should set the position of the mouse to our desired position. Let's say I want my mouse to be moved right here. To get the coordinates of this point, we can use mouse.getPosition and console log the returned value. So move the mouse to that position and run the script. Ok, so in my case it's around 700, 700, so we can delete these two lines and comment the rest of the code and use mouse.setPosition to which we need to pass a target point. Import point class from Node.js and create a new point instance with 700, 700 as an argument. We will be drawing few rectangulars, which get smaller and smaller. For a single rectangular, we can drag the mouse left, up, right and down by let's say 500 pixels. To add more rectangulars, we can wrap this code in a simple while loop. Additionally, move the mouse left and up by a tiny bit after each iteration. One more thing, let's add a small timeout after we open paint to avoid situations where our painting process would start but the paint program itself is not yet opened. Ok. That should do it. Execute the script and enjoy some art being created by our code. Ok, let's do one more use case for automation. Let's say I have some Excel files which I would like to copy to a separate folder and the folder name should contain the current date. To achieve that, first we open the file explorer, then maximize the window, unnecessary but still, press Ctrl L to focus the address bar, then type the absolute path to our Excel files and press enter. Select all the files with Ctrl A, copy them with Ctrl C, 
focus the address bar again, type the path to our backup folder, create a new folder in there with Ctrl, Shift, N. Give the name of the current date and press enter a couple of times. Finally, paste the files with Ctrl V. That's it. Now we can execute the script and see how the script is successfully copying our Excel files and putting them into a backup folder. Node.js is also capable of on-screen image search. To demonstrate that, we will be searching the zoom icon on my desktop. First, we create images folder and add the icon. For image search to work, we need to install and require an additional plugin from Node.js. It basically registers an image finder. Once we have that, we need to do some configuration. We set the resource directory to our images folder. We set the image search confidence threshold to 0.9. It's the required matching percentage for template images to be declared as match. So first we press window D to minimize all the windows. Then we use screen.find method, which will search for a single occurrence of a template image on a system's main screen. We pass an image resource of our zoom icon PNG. Screen find method will return a region object. And with the help of another helper function center off, we can get the center coordinates of our zoom icon. The last step is to set our mouse position to the center of an icon and double clicking on it. If we execute the script, we can see that the zoom icon was successfully found on my desktop and double clicked. So yeah, today we went through 5 simple examples of desktop automation with Node.js. We haven't done anything fancy or mind blowing, but the tool looks pretty solid. And maybe in the future videos we will do some more complex automations. If you have any automation ideas, please leave them in the comments down below. If you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so, we would love to have you on board and see you in the next video.